what's going on, everybody? Do apologize for the tape and stuff on the screen. I was getting out some packages from my slab that's sold today, and a few other things I had to get out in the mail. And I just realized the time it is, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get this video done and formatted and then uploaded. So uh, stuff a little bit crazy looking right now on there. So I know PSA raised prices as of yesterday, which would have been March first. There's been so much. I guess talk and hate about it across the board and I had a lot of people asking me to express my thoughts on to it so I'm gonna do that and this is just my thoughts and opinion and as I said before you know when you go into baseball cards most people can't you know separate their thoughts between collector and flipper and all that stuff well in this case here I look at it as first as being a collector and a hobby then I look at it as I'm flipping cards, which normally get me my PC cards. And then I look at it as a business standpoint, and I'm not talking about business as a breaker, but I'll talk about that here in a bit too. But business as if I owned PSA or Collector's Universe too as well. So real quick, I did have a talk with PSA yesterday on the phone too. Almost forgot to throw this in the video. I called about 10 minutes after they opened. That was like 226 on the list. They called me back about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, you know, the guy went through a lot during that day, the rep. And, you know, he was telling me on the phone how, you know, he was thankful that I wasn't, like, cussing him out and stuff like that. He said people were really rude to him. And, you know, he has to take the bearer of the weight on to that because he's not in the decision-making piece of it all. He's just trying to, you know, have a job, earn money for his family and stuff. And so we had a long talk. Well, first thing I want to talk about, I want to show you something that's on their website. Let me do this first. Because I'm going to lose train of thought real quick on this. <laughs> All right, so this here is supposed to be the service levels that you get and where they're at, like, date-wise. So when they say date-wise, it's not the date it arrived. It's the date they entered it in the system. There's actually an enter date on your submissions. So... If you look here, this was a question I brought up. He said regular was 1 November 2020. Well, I submitted one beginning of January and got it back in like under a month. He told me that is the latest package they did that month or that day or that week, whatever it is. So for some reason, like this package here was there because maybe labels were messed up and it had to go back through. It was a large order. He was telling me, you know, maybe there was something wrong with their payment thing on to it. There, there could be all kind of stuff that goes wrong with it. And there's only so many, you know, people doing an assembly, putting them in slabs. So if, say, they mess up, somebody sent in 100 cards regular, that's got to go back through and it's going to wrap the machine up long enough. But these dates here, like I said, that's the oldest, um, let me rephrase, oldest entered date in the system. And complete means it's shipped today. It's shipped out. So if you look, Economy's 3 August. I've had one that was like two week, two or three weeks after this I got back already. And then you just start going through. It gives you an idea. Ultra Modern, 10 July. That actually bumped up since yesterday. Uh, 1 July for Modern. So you could use this as a tool, all right? But just know the dates you see on here, because he said this is one of the most common errors. They think that you know they're only working for at one november right now in regulars when it's not not a fact you guys seen i got a regular back in under a month this year all right let's go and talk now about the services and yes the pug is under me she's sleeping and snoring away please excuse her uh trading card here again this is where everybody's like pretty much really I would say upset about to be polite about it. So as you know, economy still suspended. This used to be oh I can't remember if it was twenty dollars a card or something or twenty five maybe thirty. They bumped that up. I think it might have been twenty. I can't remember offhand. I haven't done an economy since last September. Regular double because it used to be fifty. Now it's a hundred. Express was seventy five. Now it's one fifty. Those I know because I use them. So let's take a look at the values and everybody knows these two. The modern jumped from twelve dollars to twenty, but there now is a ten card minimum. They did raise the declared value to four ninety nine. Used to be one ninety nine. Modern used to be twenty a card. It went to twenty five. Ten card minimum. Same thing. Four ninety nine value. 
I, I don't know what vintage was. It might have been ten bucks. I, I don't remember. It might have been twelve too. I just haven't done anything from seventy one and earlier back in yet. So with that being said, there, you know, you can look at this in different aspects. You can be upset with PSA. They've been around for a long time. I know that. And there's going to be, you know, a lot of tension out there over it where people are like, I'm not submitting the PSA anymore. Well, I kind of understand that. You know, they, everybody's saying I'm jumping on GMA, HGA. I mean, good luck with HGA because I'm not trying to get on there every Thursday and Friday, and I haven't been able to get one order in in three weeks. So there's bots that are on there people are using to get their stuff through. And I'm not smart enough to know what a bot is and how to use a bot and to do it, so... I probably never get to use HGA. Uh, SGC, they rub me long in the summertime. You guys probably, if you were part of the channel then, you'll, under, you'll know the story behind it. I had rude customer service, not by one, not by two, but by three different employees there, and I just washed them away. Beckett, now you got to think, Beckett raised their prices at least twice last year, maybe three times, to some higher uh, denomination, which I don't remember off the top of my head. But... All they said, now you remember back at the only thing they said was they were hiring new graders. We don't know how many. I'm sure they put it out, but that was it. So they doubled most of their prices. They hired a couple more graders, a couple more people to work there. Maybe say 20 or 30. And that's probably the whole process. Shipping, you know, and all that stuff that goes through the card stuff. So, to me, where are they doing with their extra money, right? Let me see where I hid picture at earlier mm -mm -mm. I have no idea where I stuck it at oh let me just try one spot here real quick for it I might have deleted it by mistake because I was taking off old stuff off my computer I did oh Cruella all right I'm going to pull it up from my phone. I do apologize. I must have deleted it when I was taking out trash pictures earlier. And I probably deleted it from my phone, too. Ah. I'm trying to see where it is. PSA put a message out yesterday. There it is. It's on Twitter. And basically, it was from a guy named David Steinberger. It says, hello, everybody. I work for PSA, and I'd like to provide... A little more insight and data to help frame the situation, all right? Despite the price increases in October, submission volume increased 21% from November to December. Another 48% from December to January, and February has surpassed January's levels. Expected, you know, with the market boom. And despite adding 167 new employees in the past 70 days, our capacity growth cannot keep the pace with the current with the growth in the submission volume. They're being flat out honest onto this stuff. Not only is a price increase warranted, it's required to address the current demands in the hobby considering our capacity. So if you really break that down, everybody knows I talked about a PSA, Collectors Universe Bob, another building like across the road, across the parking lot, and they started moving into it late December, if I recall right. I know they're all set up now into it with computers, desks, and all that stuff. They hired a, you know, more graders and everything. So they had to house all those people. What they want to do is two things here with it, in my opinion. One, the extra money is going to pay those extra employees. And they want to help push out more product back to us. At the same time frame, they're alleviating people just taking every rookie card and every prospect card and meld it in as ultra modern. And people were doing it. And I mean, there's still people going to do it, but it's pretty much probably kicked out a good chunk of people for doing that right now. So their idea is if we raise the prices, it's going to help us here. At the same time frame, it'll help keep, you know certain levels down to a minimum so we can try to, you know, fix where we're at in deficit at. I don't know how well it'll work. It, it's worth to try to see what they come up with. Um, they've been very transparent since COVID started. More transparent than any other company out there. And I'm not saying this because I've been with PSA since like 2001. I've been through it all. It used to be bulk submissions were five bucks. Don't get me wrong. 
But, you know, I kind of understand why they did it, their approach to it. They knew they were going to get a lot of negative feedback onto it. And, you know, they're going to keep pushing on with it, whether people try to get into that, like, two twenty four hundred 2,400 submissions HGA weekly. That's hard to do. Trust me. I mean, you can use SGC if you want. I, I'm just not a fan of them at all after the way that they, three different employees talk to me in emails. And then, I mean, I'm not a GMA guy by far. I'm not a GMA guy. I won't even touch them. And then there's all these other new companies coming out. So you're going to have your choice to always pick between your companies. That's on to you. Um, collector, or what was it called? Oh, CGC has made it their company. I think it's called CGS or something like that. Looks like the Beckett labels. Uh, they did the comics and, I believe, coins, too. I mean, they're worth a chance to give a shot at, too. See how well they do. But remember when Beckett raised their prices and PSA just went up a tad bit, SGC got flooded and couldn't handle it? Yeah, you know everybody's rushing right now to SGC, and that's going to happen all over again. And they're going to say they weren't prepared again for it. You know, it, it's a double-edged sword no matter how you look at something like this. As a collector, I think the prices suck because I'm a collector. And, you know, it is it is what it is. You know, with times and with, you know, with the market and everything, I can understand it. It just means I have to be more selective on what I'm, <clears throat> what I'm grading offhand. Then, as a flipper, I'm really upset because I, for one... I'm not going to be able to grade every single rookie and try to prospect. Granted, now it's $5 more a card on to it and stuff like that. But, you know, there's a lot of people who aren't going to be able to do that. I normally only did, like, the top three every rookie class, and then I'd hold the rest off to the side. And then if I seen people start to get good money for them, I'd throw a batch in together, you know. That, that was my whole train of thought. Now, from a business standpoint, okay, as... A breaker in the business, I think this may hurt breakers. Because before, you didn't mind getting them mid-tier teams because you could send in those rookie cards, grade them, and you'd have that chance that they might go up crazy down the road. I, I see that maybe, maybe hurting some breakers, not the big reputable ones, so don't get me wrong there. Guys have just started or, you know, been in it for a while, a couple years. I could see it hurting. Because everybody's going to want those top three or four teams to where they can get cards to grade to get their money back off of what they're spending in that break. Ultimately, that's what everybody should be doing anyhow. Now, I mean, if you're doing random team breaks and you get stuck with mid-tier rookies, do you really chance to grade that? I mean, you guys are free to write in the comment section. I'm just saying, please be very, very respectful in the comments and stuff like that there. I'm trying not to bash any of the companies out there, Beckett, SGC, H, uh, HGA, all of them. What I'm doing, I'm more concerned is about PSA, what everybody's looking to do, and I'm still going to send in to them. Will they still get the mount that I did before? No. And it's only because i got to be more selective now on to it. Now, as I keep on saying, as a breaker, yeah, I think it's going to affect it somewhat to more of your newer, and I, I hate to say this, but like lower-end breakers, not the guys who are breaking flawless NT, iMac, the big stuff. People will still go out there and get that no matter what. <laughs> PSA, like, do you need help with anything? Uh, no, thank you. Um, at the same time frame, i got to wait to plug up because she's like annoying me here. Hey, bud, you got to wake up down there. All right. Hey, they don't want to hear you snoring. I've told you this. You see, she's grumpy pug now. But anyhow, as a business that if I own PSA, which is Collector's Universe, I could see why they did it. If you hired that many new employees with all that new salary, granted, you're making money anyhow. But remember, this is not a LLC type business. They have stockholders in Collector's Universe on to it. So, yes, those dudes want their bonuses. They want the stock to go up and everything else. But I also see from a standpoint, they got to now pay for this new building. You got all the new utilities inside there. They'd pay for all the new equipment. Um, 
whatever else you could think of on the side. My thing as a business is, how are we going to make this transparent to my customers and warrant the price increase to show that we are now becoming more effective with our method? Okay. If they cut down times dramatically over the next, say, six months, I don't see anything right off the bat. I'm saying six to eight months it's going to take for a ripple effect, in my own opinion. Um, if you think it's going to be shorter or longer, hey, write down in the chat. I'm just curious what everybody else thinks on to it. I'm just one person out there with my thoughts on to it. And the reason I say that is they just started this, and if you look, values were like six to nine months so until they can get through that backlog and catch up and then start working on the current new stuff i think that's when we're going to start seeing some of the uh the faster times turn around and that's just on value i think economy will be done in the next couple months with everything they have and they'll be able to concentrate those guys onto the value stuff which will help as well too regular and express i think will pick up here within the next probably two months maybe but you're still going to have people that are going to spend that big money because when they came in, a Kobe auto was like 500 Now it's 20000 Just throwing numbers out. I know it's probably not precise. So they have that extra money to grade those cards. Where somebody newer into the hobby doesn't have those type of cards that is going to make that kind of profit, isn't going to be able to reshuffle money as quickly back into it. So you got to look at it all standpoints is the way I always try to view it. Um, at more unbiased than anything, I mean, you guys know I love PSA no matter what. Um, with that being said, you know, I, I, was I shocked? No. Was I a little mad? Yeah, I was a little mad over it all. But, you know, if I want to continue using their services, I got to pay it. Just like if I want to continue using Becca to grade my thick stock cards, got to pay it. Um, the hobby's turned into a business, everybody. It's just a way you got to look at it anymore. I know it's not what everybody wants to hear and stuff, but everybody's out there. They want their hands in that pocket. They want that money. Now, here's the other thing I was asked questions on, too. I was asked, do I think PSA graded cards are going to go up in value? I do. I'm not going to say like Lucas are going to go crazy up in value because there's a high pop report on to it. What I'm saying is from here out, we'll just use Prism Basketball this year. It comes out, what, end of March, I believe now? Everybody's not going to be able to grade every single card like they are now, so you're going to see lower pops. So I think that's going to help out somewhat on to it. Along with other cards out there that have low population reports, I think it's going to help out with the price increase. I also see it to where there's not going to be an overflood of PSA 10s on certain cards. Uh, we'll just use... Well, if everybody didn't mail in their 2021 tops, Christian Pache's or Joe Adele's, those probably aren't going to be like 10,000 PSA 10s. So now, if they cut that even, say, in half, those PSA 9s are going to be worth a little bit more because people aren't going to get their hands on them, if that makes any sense at all to everybody. I think it's going to help also the PSA 9 market with a lot of cards, too, going up in value to where, you know, either one, you can't afford the PSA 10, or two, the 9 is, you know, I've seen PSA 9s already surpassing the Beckett 9 fives. It's crazy. Would you have ever thought that would happen, to be honest? I, I never would have. I figured it would always maybe be like, at the most, catch up 10% off, if that. Now you got nines out there out doing a Beckett 9.5. And if you, just a few of them have recently, and that's just one of the things you got to look at uh, from a, I guess you could say a collector and flipper, whatever you want to call it, in the, into the realm. So... Let's take a look and see what PSA is doing this summer. We'll do a continuation video. We'll see how their numbers have changed from this video. We'll see if they do another price increase by then. Who knows? But let's just take a look and see what they put in as a plan, if it's going to work. You know, I know a lot of people are like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I hate PSA and stuff like that. You know, in some terms, it's a double-edged sword. You know, those people that aren't going to grade PSA anymore, okay, that's less they're going to be graded by PSA. 
So now th things are going to move forward better. You know, I, that's the way I look at it offhand. And with all the grading companies out there, you're free to go to wherever you want to go. I mean, I still use Beckett. I tried SGC. Um, I'm trying HGA, but that's probably about the extent I'm going to go. And maybe I'm going to try CGS or, yeah, CGS, because that's the parent company of CGC. Um, so many letters, I'll tell you. It gets so confusing after a while. But uh, I'm going to give them all a chance, you know. Well, minus like uh, GMA and uh, Gem Mint and all these side ones that have been around for years that I just don't care for. But, you know, go with where you can afford and what you want back. If you just want it slab for your PC and you don't care about it for monetary value, maybe GMA is the best way because you got it slab and protected. I don't know. It's going to be personal preference on to it. But, wow, I'm over 20 minutes now, guys. Um, I think I hit all the areas I want to talk about. Guys, think about this. You give me about two, two and a half days. I'm going to cut oh, about two days. Wait, Wednesday, Thursday. About two a day, a little over two days. Some change. Uh, I'm going to come live between 8 and 9 p.m. Friday. And we can all chit-chat about this and whatever else you guys want to talk about and stuff. Come on for an hour or so. Uh, it gives me a break from ending the week of uh, telling people they're going to Korea. And that there is like a true story. <laughs> because I do assignments for a branch of the military. But, I, you know, it's usually like my peace of mind, my break time. Just sitting there chatting with you guys too. So come on if you got a chance Friday night. I'll come live for about... Somewhere between 8 and 9, I haven't really decided yet, but I'll pop on, just keep an eye out for the notifications. I don't want to set a time and then I miss it because something comes up, and I have like an order that comes in late from UPS or FedEx from the distributor. And that's, that's the only reason why I don't want to set a time right now, because I do have an order coming in that day. But um, we'll open up maybe a box of plates and patches or something, if, if I have that in there too. We'll see what's in it. We'll Chit-chat about PSA, all the other grading companies. Uh, actually, let's do it at nine fifty. Let's do it after nine because I want to try to get HGA in. Let's go nine thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday. We're gonna set the time. I take it back. Nine thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday because I want to try to get in PSA's line at uh nine nine p.m. whenever they release it. So, uh, let's do that. You got, we can talk about whatever you guys want on to there. We know the auction's next Friday on the 12th. I'll put that out with a time and a pre-video, whatever I got for the auction then. But, eh, I've seen worse things come out with the grading companies through time. So, this here, yeah, it's a lot more expensive than it ever has been. But, you know, what can you do, really? I mean, you could boycott it, but... You're still going to have your PSA loyalists that are going to use them regardless. And those people there are the ones that, you know, go after the big stuff and are the ones that are moving cards daily until they all want to start moving and switching out. I, I think it's going to be hard for PSA to be bumped out of top, even, well, top two or three, even if there's a bunch of new companies come into play. But, all right, guys, take care. Have a good day. And I will catch you live Friday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. Take care.